So you find yourself short on gasoline on the way home from a camping trip or from visiting a state park in which you've had a lot of fun and you happen to have a lot of charcoal lighter fluid left over. Could you use it as a gasoline substitute to get you to the nearest gas station which is about five miles away? Well today we're going to do some testing to find out if this will work and we're going to test it in a fuel injected engine. So let's get the testing underway. We'll be using this small engine to measure performance, especially carbon buildup inside the combustion chamber after using charcoal lighter fluid. Modern vehicles use fuel injected technology. So the question is, will charcoal lighter fluid work in a fuel injected engine? We'll be testing charcoal lighter fluid in this engine with a see-through cylinder head. Let's see if charcoal lighter fluid works in the see-through rotary engine, thanks to my good friend, Matt, from the Warp Perception YouTube channel who loaned it to me. Looking at the safety data sheet, what exactly is in lighter fluid? The answer supplier trade secret. Also, there isn't a cast number provided, so we're going to have to dig a little bit deeper into this one. The flash point is 102 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if the weather is warm, this might actually work in a cold engine, but if the weather is fairly cool, the engine is going to not want to start. We'll remove the cylinder head, clean up the combustion chamber, put a new head gasket and spark plug in this engine, and then run it for right at an hour. After an hour, we'll take the cylinder head back off and see how much carbon buildup occurred. We'll also measure the temperature of the cylinder head as well as the exhaust to see if there's any difference between charcoal lighter fluid and gasoline. Wow, check out all the buildup on that spark plug. Definitely a lot more buildup than some of the other alternative fuels that we've tested in the past. There's some very thick carbon deposits built up on this cylinder head, especially around the exhaust valve. A lot of buildup on the intake valve and definitely a lot around the exhaust valve. So charcoal lighter fluid, just one tank full could cause a lot of carbon buildup. We'll be using this engine with a see-through cylinder head to see how the flame color changes compared to regular gasoline. See if charcoal lighter fluid works in the C3 rotary engine thanks to my good friend Matt from the Warp Perception YouTube channel who loaned it to me. But first we need to pre-mix some two-stroke oil into this charcoal lighter fluid just to make sure we don't cause any damage to the engine.
The governor has been removed on this Predator 212 engine, so it's going to be very interesting to see how much this engine pings under a heavy load and high RPM. I previously ran this engine with aviation fuel and this has a Tillerson mechanically injected carburetor and I had to do some adjustments to make the engine run properly. So I'm probably going to have to do the same thing this time. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get it running first and then I'll go ahead and make some adjustments to the carburetor and we'll see how fast we can get this thing going. We're going to see if charcoal lighter fluid will allow an engine that's been cooled off and fuel injected to actually run. If it does run, what we're going to do is apply a load to it to see how much load it'll take and if we can hear the engine knocking from the lower octane fuel. The engine temperature is right around 80 degrees Fahrenheit, so let's see if we can get this engine to start. Once again, a big thank you to Matt from the Warp Perception YouTube channel for loaning me the C3 rotary engine. I definitely need to send this thing back soon though because I definitely don't want to cause damage to it. I was surprised at how well the charcoal lighter fluid worked inside that fuel injected generator. The engine started up from a cold start and it ran very well. Now under significant load, there was a lot of knocking sound, so obviously that'll cause damage over time, which is a good reason to avoid using charcoal lighter fluid in an engine, unless it's an emergency, because you don't want to cause damage to an engine. 100% of the video ideas on this channel are viewer recommended. Viewers wanted to see this one, so thank you very much for recommending it. I hope you'll take time to give me some more future video ideas. Thanks again, please take care, and I look forward to seeing you next time.